hello guys so in this video tutorial we are going to see how we can add a paytm payment gateway into our react and node.js web application so currently in this video um basically the front end is in react and we are going to use a, a pre-made dashboard which is the template and uh, it's a it's a used in the previous tutorial of uh, angular how we can add a uh, progressive web app so so argon dashboard is a very easy to modify dashboard that's why we are going to use it and what we are going to do is uh, we are going to add one button over here and then we are going to make a request to our backend and make some payment process and then we will get a payment confirmation on our react app so let's get started so this is the back end there are lots of codes over here or we are going to do is uh, we are going to do is uh, router.get and then slash payment so this is the api which we are going to use so first of all request and response and then over here right now all we are going to do is uh, from Paytm's website there has been uh, or all we have to do is go to this uh, standard checkout procedure since we are going to do standard checkout no further customization down there down there now all this thing these things we are going to uh, define these things over our front end and in our back end also we can do this here in the node.js now we require this uh, checksum library that we have over here now for that library all you need to do is uh, there has been a sample code you need to download it from their website yes we are going to do is just clone this in your uh, backend project right mine one is here checksum right the same one which is over here and then import this checksum.js which i have done already over here all you need to do is import this library then we are going to generate our checksum now first of all all we need to understand is that in the uh, in our back end all we are going to do is generate the checksum then all we are going to use is redirect our user to the ptm page using that checksum right so basically all the processing part is done in the back end but in the front end all we are going to do is redirecting our user to ptm payment page right now to generate the checksum we require this library checksum.js and then yes so how we are going to get our uh, our uh, amount and the user's uh, phone number right so for that we are going to require a couple of parameters so these are a couple of parameters which i have already written now how do you get that merchant id so in the paytm's uh, gateway in the paytm's developer dashboard you need to do is log in over here then all you need to do is go to that setup payment gateway so here you will get all the test uh, api details like the merchant id merchant key website website retail web wap and all other stuffs right for uh, training purposes we are going to use this url over here for production we are going to use this url now over here this is our mid is our merchant id so we are going to use the website uh, paytm config dot website industry type industry tribe right so what i have done is i have created two files in the config folder uh, paytm development.js and paytm production.js that's how we can uh, simplify the process of development and production server so whenever the server is in our production the paytm config uh, over here yeah the ptm config will import automatically the production api uh, production configurations and uh, in the in the in the development server the ptm ptm configuration file will import the development file right 
so this is very convenient and uh, we are going to use the channel id which is already specified over here which is web so now the other part so order id will generate the order id in a react but we can do it in the back end also i prefer to do it in the back end since there is more security over back end uh, customer id mobile number we are going to get from the user and we can store it in the back end database also the email and uh, text and uh, amount right so these are the couple of parameters which are which we required for initiate the payment for that we require this code over here so check some library will generate the code for us all we need to do is copy and paste over here right. we are not going to copy these files right now uh, we require the merchant key so basically this key has to be in the back end you can't just copy and paste this link over front end because this key has to be secret so i have created uh, another uh, uh, another key for that and uh, it's called merchant key in the back end and then we are going to get the checksum you can print it over here and boom now we are going to make a response json and send it to our front end so variable all we need to do is variable params and then we are going to append our uh, checksum in the in the current in the in this uh, response right so that's how we are going to append our checksum in the in the react now this key i forgot to mention that this key has to be in this manner only you can't customize this key i forgot to mention you can't customize this key since these keys are uh, we are going to this uh, we are going to post this th this keys to the paytm page so we can't customize it now that we have done our uh, back end part all we need to do is now in the front end so basically in the front end we are going to put a couple of uh, input section here so in the form we are going to put a couple of forms on submit so this will be our our form and uh, when this will be submitted we will do a couple of things and then we are going to hit the database api right now we are going to implement this function also this on payment function over here yeah. now all we need to do is create on payment function this will be our arrow function e dot prevent default since we are not going to refresh our page so that's why we are going to put e dot prevent default and then try get statement now uh, for amount i am going to put it 100 over here now paytm compulsory requires two decimals after after the point and then phone number phone number which is plus nine one nine eight nine eight don't you think I am going to put my number over here, right? Done. So this will be like I am in India, so basically it's require ten, uh, ten numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right. Done. Now we required email address. We can uh, get Kishan at the rate gmail.com. This is not my real email address. Where 
now what we else require is order id so we are going to generate one order id also it will be our order id plus new date dot get time it's going to find but uh, it's not uh, advisable to do it in a production this is just for creating unique id since uh, paytm requires whenever every time you create an order the order id must has to be in, uh, unique so if let's say you have just put uh, order 001 right now you cannot apply sec whenever you call that api you cannot apply the same order id it gonna be fail api so please don't do that that's why I'm going to add time over here since time is gonna be going to be unique. Now we require amount, phone number, and order ID. Pretty much everything good to go. Now we are going to make a Axios get request. Now for that, let params and then put everything over here. We require order ID. So order ID is going to be an order ID now email is going to be email and then amount and then amount then what we require is then phone number i'm going to put that phone number over here done now for uh, url i'm going to use localhost 5000 and then api v1 basically i am going to copy and paste this over here payment api and then over here right good to go now all we need to do is create our request now request required url which is our url params needs to be params method needs to be get and then in our response we are going to get our get response and then const um, process params we are going to get couple of process params json and console.log process params done Pre pretty much good to go let's check this out oops okay i forgot to put a sync over here and uh, get is not defined i think it should be like this and then we are pretty much good to go open our console tab in the network just close the over here enable the xhr and pay now now we get a 500 internal server error why cannot read property includes of undefined hmm so basically i forgot to mention that this should be the query since it is the get request all we need to do is put query over here and then we can our make our request again now that we got our response right over here so this is our checksum over here and uh, this one is over undefined so it has to be data over here and then pay again yeah we got now we are going to redirect our user to the ptm page for that purpose we are going to use uh, one uh, snippet from the github 
so it called react as post react post so we are going to use couple of snippets from uh, react post since uh, we are we are going to redirect our user from react page and we have to submit a form which uh, we which we got from our backend for that purpose we are going to copy this entire entire code in our front end so now that i have copy and paste all you need to do is remove that uh, export and function uh, synonyms from the from the functions and i have removed uh, uh, the target option which is over here which uh, we re don't require all we need to do is call that function for that we are going to first of all get create some details so here action is our now remembered that uh, tagging api which is over here we have to copy this since we are going to redirect our user to that tagging api now we require to pass one more parameter which is params uh which is params and then which is process params and then we are going to post our user this dot post to ptm right now that our whole app is ready for user to pay so this is very easy so thank you guys for watching in the next video tutorial we are going to see how we can complete our uh, transaction and how we can tamper with that transaction using that burp suit uh, software this is the community edition but we are going to we are going to tamper couple of things like the payment so yeah thanks for watching talk to you guys in the next one